Assalamu alaikum. Brace yourself for some shocking mathematics within the Quran, of which only one letter is more than enough to wipe away any doubts that you may have had about the miraculous within the Quran. If you've ever said wow to anything, brace yourself to be wowed. <laughs> The 27th chapter in the Quran is titled The Ants in Arabic and Naml, and at first we only suspect due to previous observations that the chapter number is either the key or connected to the key that would unlock its mathematic secrets. This is confirmed when we notice what follows. In this chapter there are 93 verses. We notice that it is one of the chapters that starts with the Quran's miraculous separated letters called Al-Huruf Al-Muqatta'ah which we had mentioned in our previous video. Out of those unique separated letters, this chapter starts with the two letters Ta Sin. Amazingly, the first of these un two unique letters, which is Ta, appears throughout the chapter 27 times, which is the number of the chapter. So, we count the number of times the second of the unique letters appears in the chapter, and amazingly, this letter, Sin, appeared 93 times, which is the number of verses in the chapter. If we were to stop here and let people truly think about this, this would be enough for serious thinkers. In Arabic, each letter has a numerical value, as seen in this chart, and this goes back to well over 16 centuries before Islam. With this system, we find the numerical values of words and phrases. The name of the chapter is the ants and ants are not mentioned anywhere else in the Qur'an. This alone makes it unique enough, and so we look at the mathematical value of the word ants, Namil in Arabic, and it turns out to be 120. Can you see it? Yes, shockingly the num numerical value of the word ants is 93 plus 27. Then we are surprised to discover that Allah is mentioned in the chapter 27 times. All of this is miraculous mathematic harmony. We are just getting started. We are further amazed to discover that the only verse in chapter 27 that starts with Allah contains 27 letters. It's almost as if it is telling us to dig deeper because 27 has been highlighted so clearly. Thinking about this, the researchers have found a startling discovery. The 27th letter of the Arabic alphabet in the common Hijai order is the letter Wow, which is like the English W. So let's dive further into this chapter using the 27th letter in the 27th chapter of the Quran. We discover that the first verse in the chapter that does not contain the letter W, Wow in Arabic, is verse number 27. All of this points at the requirement to follow the 27th letter Wow even further. So we start counting the appearances of the letter Wow in chapter 27 within the verses and we are shocked by the findings. It appeared one time in 15 of its verses, i.e. each one of these verses has the letter Wow only one time. It appeared two times in another 15 verses of this chapter. It appeared three times in each of another 15 verses of this chapter and amazingly it appeared four times in yet another 15 verses of this chapter. And if this is not shocking enough, it appeared five times in yet another 15 verses of this chapter. Look carefully at the screen and be honest. Can a man who could neither read or write over 14 centuries ago write a book that was revealed over 23 years responding to uncontrollable events and giving a complete way of life with deep meaning and as linguistically unchallengeable as a miracle have made up such a book? How blind does one's heart and mind need to be not to see this miracle? But we are not done yet. In a future video, we will see that the Night of Decree, i.e. in Arabic, Laylatul Qadr, revolves completely around the number 27 and is discussed in only two chapters. So if 27 is strongly connected to two chapters, let's see if its connection to two means we should look deeper in the group of 15 verses that mention the 27th letter two times. When we take a closer look at this group of verses, we are amazed to discover yet another miraculous mathematic finding. The total sum 
of the multiple verses of the 27th letter in which it appeared two times is 729, which is 27 times 27. SubhanAllah. Amazing mathematical harmony. Another key in Qur'an math is the number 5 as it relates to the 5 prayers, the 5 pillars of Islam, and so on. So let's examine the group of verses where the letter Wow appeared 5 times in closer detail. The total sum of this group's verse numbers equals 773. Another recurring and important key in Qur'an math is prime numbers and their order number. 773 is the 137th prime number. And because 137 is also a prime number, we again follow this method to find its order among prime numbers. And it turns out that it is the 33rd prime number. So breaking this down, we have ended up with 33. Shockingly, 33 is the total number of verses in this chapter that start with the letter Wow, which is the 27th letter. This mathematical logic is startling, and throughout the Qur'an, prime numbers have been a very strong and recurring key. We have now had the number 3 as a unit enter the scene of this chapter's mathematical code. So does this mean that the number 3 should be expected to manifest elsewhere? We discover that the letter Wow, the 27th letter, appeared in the entire chapter a total of 333 times and 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 equals 27. We have already said there are 5 groups of 15 verses each, with the letter Wow appearing between once to 5 times in each verse of the corresponding group. This can be seen to correspond to the 5 prayers, but there is something even more consequential. Because we have multiple groups of 15 verses, let's multiply 15 by 15. This gives us 225. So what could this number be? Shockingly, 225 is the total number for the letter Wow in all five of these groups. Yet we have still not multiplied the obvious, which is 15, i.e. the number of verses in each group, by five, the total number of these multiple groups. Five times 15 equals 75. What could this possibly be? Obviously, 75 is the total number of verses in these five groups. The number 15 is clearly by now a thread to follow in this chapter, so we take a look at the 15th verse in this chapter, and miraculously, we find that it is made up of 15 words. We can follow this thread and go much deeper, but to be brief, I'll stick with what is readily digestible. Have a moment and look at this. Pause the screen if you must. This is absolutely miraculous. Can anyone seriously examine this and still claim it is by chance and then blame us if we question their mental abilities? Let's return to the first letter of the chapter, which is the letter Ta, and is one of the unique Quran separated letters group. We said that it is the first letter in chapter 27 and that it is repeated 27 times. So it is clearly being highlighted, which means we should dig deeper. Ta is the 16th letter in the common Hijai alphabetic order. And miraculously, the number of verses in which this letter appears only once within this chapter is 16 verses. And here they are. The shocking, miraculous mathematical harmony continues. The total sum of these verse numbers is also related to 16, as it turns out to be 640, which is 16 multiplied by 40. But what about this 40? Can we go deeper? Yes, and it too is amazing. We said that Ta is the first letter in the chapter and was repeated in the chapter 27, a total of 27 times. And now we have seen that it is the 16th letter and appeared once in only 16 verses, the total of which 16 multiplied by 40. We have seen how 16 manifests in the chapter, but what about 40? Miraculously, we find that the longest verse in this chapter is verse number 40. The elegance of the code does not stop here. We also find that the shortest verse 
which is the second verse, has a total of 16 letters. So the code of the first letter of the chapter also points to the longest and shortest verses in the chapter. Since these two verses have been clearly highlighted and connected, we look at them even closer. The total number of letters in both verses is 152, which is 114 plus 38. 114 is the number of chapters in the Qur'an, and one of the main Qur'an mathematic keys, but what about 38? The surprise is that 38 is the number of words in verse 40, which as we said is the longest verse in the chapter. Furthermore, the shortest verse 2 and the longest verse 40, and the difference between them again gives us 38. We mentioned that the chapter starts with two of Qur'an's unique separated letters, which are Ta, Sin, and that Ta appeared 27 times, giving us the number of the chapter, and that Sin appeared 93 times, which was the number of verses in the chapter. We also followed Ta and arrived at several of the conclusions. But what about the letter Sin? The first letter in the chapter, Ta, had appeared in 16 verses one time. Seen as the second letter appeared two times in each of 16 verses. So in this chapter, which starts with two unique letters, the first appeared in 16 of its verses only one time, and the second appeared in 16 of its verses two times. In this group, the total sum of the verse numbers equals 636, which equals 12 multiplied by 53. Amazingly, 12 is the order of the letter seen in the common Hijai alphabetic order. 53 is a prime number, and its order within the prime numbers is 16, which is the number of verses in this group and the order of the first letter in the chapter. Despite all this, the Qur'an remains an even greater linguistic miracle, and the Arabic language is the sturdiest of all languages. As mentioned, Ta is the 16th letter and Sin is the 12th letter. When we add 12 and 16, we get 28, which is the total number of letters in the Arabic Hija'i alphabet. On and on, the mathematically miraculous proves to be endless, and I have skipped much in just this chapter to remain brief. Look at this mathematical harmony. Take your time and let this shocking mathematically harmonious symphony of impossible perfection sink in. Who in the right mind can say that an illiterate man 14 centuries ago wrote this Qur'an, or all of this is just by chance? Just one letter of the Qur'an, such as the letter Wow in this chapter, has single-handedly, by the grace of Allah, the all-knowing Creator, destroyed all doubt. You do not need to understand the language to understand these numbers. Go ahead and share it with your mathematician friends or your best writers. Then remember that if a single letter in the Qur'an was added or went missing, not only would the entire code fall apart, but linguistically it would have been criticized by everyone in the age of, and people it descended upon. They were the masters of language, and a single mispronunciation of one letter would fall heavily on their ears, and the individual would be ridiculed by even children due to how seriously they took language juggling wor words around to establish even the most elementary mathematic correlations would have been impossible to even the most eloquent amongst them. So how could an illiterate man who did not even know how to write a single word do this? In conclusion, we turn to the Qur'an, chapter 6, verse 33. After years of severe oppression and persecution against the Muslims and especially the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, he was not angry. Instead, he actually felt sad that they have not believed in the message that will take them to paradise and Allah comforted him by telling him in this verse, We know that you are saddened by what they say and indeed they do not call you untruthful but it is the signs of Allah that the wrongdoers reject. No one can deny these numbers, yet it is not the sign that is untruthful. It is that the wrongdoers willingly reject them. Let me know what you think in the comments and whether you prefer shorter videos. And as always, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up 
share, subscribe, and until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.